Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul connecting with you live from Honolulu, Hawaii. It is a Wednesday and it is the 21st day of February. And today I'll be focusing on what is the greatest blockage for oneness, to reach oneness with ourself, with humanity, and with one world. There is actually some very specific information I'll be sharing with you today. And it's important that we truly understand what is separating because it's not something that we don't have control over. It's something that if we become aware of it, if we become aware of how um, light side and dark side operate, then we can also become aware of what we can do about that. And I say that in a very wide swathing sense, meaning there can simply be negative comments and it works in a way that could keep us from oneness. And that in actuality is falls in the category of unpleasantness or dark side, so to speak, because we all come from love originally. And to say something that is opposite of love is honestly not normal for any of us or the human race. But it has become so normal that we don't even question it. So there'll be a lot of territory we'll be covering today. <clears throat> so I encourage you to stick around, especially if you're new, just stumbling across this. This uh, commentary is, has no association with the religious base. Um, it's simply a commentary on what we can do to be more conscientious of our thoughts, words, and actions, and of what we allow to enter our consciousness, um, because this has a direct effect on oneness, one humanity, and there is a direct effect and a great deal of activity by those that wish to continue to control humanity for their own selfish needs um, that inhibit us from oneness. And uh, we'll be talking about that external activity that and how it shows up in our world and how we allow it to put us in a place of, of a lack of control and a lack of oneness. So uh, that's what you can expect today as we go through today's wisdom, teaching, and blessings. Most of this will be observational. Uh, and things that I have gathered over the course of my life won't so much be talking about the wisdom and teachings of Master Shah. I might touch on it a little here and a little there when it comes to forgiveness or practices that can help bring oneness. But the overall comprehension of what I'll be sharing is just observation. And you certainly don't have to agree. Um, but I, I, I believe I'll be sharing information that will most likely resonate with you and could be of value to bring us all closer to oneness. So thank you for coming. Thank you for also hitting the share button and letting other people know about this and this topic so that we can all make a difference in our lives. Uh, let's see who's joined us here today. <coughs> so welcome Jennifer Chris Smith. Aloha Phyllis. Aloha and welcome M.A. Drade. And welcome Kristen Strucken. Haven't seen you here in a while. You must have been very busy. Aloha Crane. And welcome also Heather McNee and Divjo. Welcome. Aloha also to Pamela and Kavita Sharma. Welcome Kristen Rojas, Elizabeth Marie. Welcome. And Aloha Chantal. Also welcome to Paula Hyatt. Susan Birchmore, welcome. And Edie Zimmer, thanks for coming. Welcome also to uh, Don Robinson and Anita Clifton. Welcome Heather McNee. Aloha Angela Diacomo. Welcome also to Carol Whitney and Denise Perry. Uh, Lotzia, aloha, welcome Lotzia. Welcome Nadia. Welcome also Peggy Blake. <clears throat> Thank you for coming. Thank you for clicking on the share button and let other people know about today's live stream. Uh, you know, one thing that I do know about this subject matter, oneness and one humanity, it's a lot more re resonating in people's hearts than I would have originally guessed. And... This will tie into some of the wisdom that I'm talking about today. <clears throat> but there are a great, great many souls in humanity that truly do want this, that truly do want the, the, uh, the light to come through and the oneness to come through. Um, and part of the, the real problem is that we cannot connect to each other. We cannot find each other. And this also ties into 
uh, the separation, what causes separation in one soul, one humanity, oneness. You'd be surprised by some of the information that I'll share today. Welcome also to Tatiana. Welcome, Nadia Miller. Welcome to Mericiana. Uh, welcome also to William and Kathy Arnold. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for sharing. So yesterday, for those that missed it, <clears throat> we had a very good and powerful live stream. And actually on Monday we did as well. So I encourage all of you to go back and watch these, um, especially if you came in, you know, in the latter half. These tend to build upon itself as it goes through the live stream. And they each um, tend to affect our overall understanding. One of the ladies that came on yesterday towards the end of the day, uh, you know, she was <clears throat> going through significant life suffering. You know, it sounded like uh, uh, listen to a cowboy um, song. You know, I lost my, my husband, I lost the kids, I lost the house, I lost, you know, everything, the job. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not unusual for a lot of people to be going through those kinds of major, major difficulties. It's very hard to pull up your own pants and move forward in life when you just get whacked over the head that hard. The, the wisdom and teachings that, that um, Master Shah has brought to humanity, the things that I share with you on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis, collectively, you just keep putting the wisdom in your head. You just keep applying the blessings that we offer each day on these. And I tell you, they'll make a difference. At least that's what I've been told by the people that come every day. <clears throat> so welcome, Jen Christie. Welcome, Crystal Don Hansen. Welcome also to Loveness and Omar. Aloha. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for coming. Thank you for clicking on the share button. So let us go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Welcome, Diane Victoria. Place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand positions, a prayer position. But we drop the left hand in front of the heart center, connecting heaven directly to our heart center. It's called a hand mudra position. And I will invite in the beings of light. I will invite in uh, to set the highest and best conditions for this blessings today. So dear all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source, our beloved original creator, we love you, honor you, respect you. And I bow my head to you. We invite you to please be present today. We invite all angels and healing angels, archangels, masters, ascended masters, lamas, gurus, sifu, saints, all Buddhas and bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, beloved Ami Tofu, beloved Kuan Yin, our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. We love you all, honor and respect you all. And we ask in whatever way is most appropriate for your presence today. We are extremely grateful for all that you do for us and most of it unseen. We thank you for steering us in our life in a way where we avoid tragedy, where we do not harm ourselves, where we make higher and better choices for our health and well-being. We're grateful for all the times that you do things to help us and assist us, and we are unaware of it. We ask forgiveness for this in all lifetimes. We might have harmed any souls in time, anywhere. And we promise to do better to help others to be happier and healthier and we thank you for any blessings that we receive on this day we invite all those in all universes to join us as we chant the source soul song of love peace and harmony and we invite all of you to turn on your source soul song of love peace and harmony to offer your unconditional service for those that are new just tuning in this is a mantra it is a healing mantra and when you chant it you are um, making a difference to humanity. I'll talk more about this a little bit later today, but it is a, uh, a real way in which you can daily, in each moment, in each hour, and in each day, make a difference for oneness. Uh, we have quite a bit of other things covered, but this is one of the solution tools that is available. So let us chant to offer our service. If you're new at this, you can uh, check Kristen Rojas' posts where she posts the words to the song and also how you can download it complimentary. It is highly suggested and recommended you share the song uh, worldwide with as many souls as possible. So let us serve. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. 
，我爱我心儿灵，我爱突然然泪。乱里音容，耳目声声，相爱平安和谐，相爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together, love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> how, how, how! Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, thank you for joining and chanting. I hopefully you receive some value also from the mantra. So welcome, Monica. Welcome, Jim. Aloha, and welcome to uh, any other souls that I might not have mentioned. Welcome, Brianna. Welcome, Tammy Hunter. So the subject matter today: that what is the greatest blockage to oneness, to one soul, to one humanity? <coughs> I'm going to share with you some personal observations, some aha moments that I've received. Then I'm going to do a flow. I'm going to ask Kevin for what their perception and guidance is. And I'm kind of saddened that I didn't see what I've come to understand a lot sooner. And and I've received very recently a new aha moment. Some of you might already be like, oh yeah, yeah. But for me, it was like, wow, I can't believe I didn't see that. So the first thing I want to start with sharing and understanding of is. In Master Shah's wisdom and teaching, everything has soul, and we are all from original creator, one soul. Please grasp that fully, one soul. So you and me and everyone else, we become like a Jello, a beautiful orange flavored Jello, and we return to the source oneness. Okay, we are all from that one same oneness. Imagine it was one ocean, one liquid, one ness. We are all from that oneness. And yet we have separated off from that oneness, and have formed and developed our personalities. And in the separation from oneness, <clears throat> from the one Creator, uh, free will was given, and in that free will there was separation created. Separation is the key word here, and I truly want you to stay focused on that word, because it is so prevalent in our lives. That it is literally hard for us to do something for someone else,、uh, at least for the vast majority of humanity. And of course, we'll do little things, but to live to serve others—well, that's like the entirely opposite of of what is oneness concept and oneness thinking. The single most evolved societies that we never hear about in this third dimensional world. Are the ones that operate in in one thought in one process. They don't do anything unless the oneness is in agreement.、Uh, if one one of the beings within that oneness has a thought that is out of alignment, all the other beings in that oneness know of it instantly. This is an advanced form of society, an advanced form of movement through the dimensions to the highest, back to the oneness from which we all were born. How do I know that? I don't.、Uh, I have observed and watched and read and done my homework, and just like you, certain things resonate more with you than other things. So you don't have to accept that. It's something I've come to accept as a truth, having witnessed different higher layers of oneness and having attunement with heaven through various practices, and trusting my own intuition. You have to go by your own guidance on that one. But in terms of here we are in this society, in this humanity,、uh, in this physical world experience, from the oneness from which we were all born, <clears throat>、uh, when the the one of those many souls that were created from original oneness,、uh, within that free will choice, made a choice that was not in alignment with oneness. In other words, it was a separation-based choice. It was a choice that. 
created opposites, opposites, yin and yang, darkness and light. Okay, so you might hear me say the word dark and light a reasonable amount today, and mostly it's to make a point. Um, we as individuals operate through the day with dark thoughts, dark activities, dark actions, uh, dark words. Well, well, how can I say that? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm so good, I'm so good at this, I'm, I would never do that. Well, you know, okay, then you're very special. I know I do throughout the day, probably 50 times, I say things that are dark, I say and think things that are dark. What's another word for that? Separate thoughts, separate words. Separation makes thoughts and words. Let's work with some real life examples. Politics. Some are Democrats, some are Republicans. So if you watch anything on the news, someone's bashing the other. This is a form of separation. Okay? The school shootings that are out there today, some want gun for safety, some don't want guns because they kill. Okay? Uh, these are forms of separation thinking. There are 200 examples, if I wanted to, to consider it, to come up with, that everyone has a perspective and an opinion. Everyone has a separation-based thought. Now, let's take that a little bit deeper. So let's say that I'm on the side of the guns that are, we need to remove them, okay? And somebody's on the other side saying, no, it's not the gun that does it. It's the person that pulls the trigger. We need to be more careful about who receives them. So we have these arguments, da 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 da, -da. Um, But what's the higher wisdom here? What's the higher wisdom? It's not who's right or wrong. Stop what you're thinking. Just me bringing up this subject riles you up. I'm for it. I'm against it. Everyone's got a very jaded opinion. Some are 20%. Some are like that. Some are 20% jaded. Some, just me bringing this up, their hair stood up on the back of their head because they're so strongly opinionated. Opinions and strength towards any particular direction creates separation. There is always a third way to look at everything. There is always a win-win scenario. So what then is the purpose of this entire conversation? The purpose is to bring us to a much higher consciousness that even our perspectives and opinions can, if not appropriately spoken or thought or acted upon, create more of what we don't want. I, personally speaking, and I'm guessing a lot of others, constantly create separation just by a thought, just by a thought of betterness or uh, um, judgment or criticism. Because the minute I have a judgment or a criticism, am I creating oneness or am I creating separation? Right? And I have them throughout the day. There's little here, little there, but it's not helping the oneness, is it? So, you know, it's a lot deeper than what we think. We have in our grasp the opportunity to make a significant difference. Because if we are conscious to bring a win-win scenario when there is such jadedness, uh, such divisiveness, such irritation. So now I'm going to go down another deep road. This one might rile you some more. Okay? That's okay. Look at your rilement. Look at how much it frustrates you if I bring up some of these subjects. Because you want to look at it from the much higher perspective. I'm going to bring them up for awareness purposes, so that you're aware. But every one of you will fall on one side or the other of the spectrum. You're going to disagree or agree. You're going to align or not align. The purpose of bringing this up is not to create alignment or disagreement. The purpose is so that we can see our reaction to it, so that we can make higher and wiser choices towards oneness. I'll use an exact example of what occurred to me yesterday, two days ago. So I was watching a video of someone that speaks about the um, worldwide wool over our eyes, where there is beyond comprehension manipulation uh, on all levels of all scales, from the mainstream media, which is basically puppets 
that this is my observation and opinion they if they have an agenda they are paid to have that agenda if you look at different medias they all have a very you know very strong agenda some are totally against this guy named Trump and you just see it in and out every single day just basting him doesn't matter like him not like him there's no balance right so is that separation or is that oneness thinking what is the agenda of that mainstream media model that is being used they must have an agenda so now we go down the rabbit hole even deeper in this mother earth there is definitely darkness and there is extraordinary amounts of light when I did a presentation on, on bringing everybody together in oneness with love peace and harmony I was very surprised to see 60 people came on live whereas my other live streams which I think are great topics only 30 or 40 came on I guess I shouldn't have been surprised but what did it tell me it told me that this is very important in people's hearts they want a solution and so we got to look at that people want a solution but we are unable to get together to find each other because I'm going somewhere very big with this so stay with me we all have and when I say all, I mean the vast majority of humanity have a great interest in oneness, have a great interest in one humanity, have a great interest in peacefulness, but we cannot find each other. We can't. It's very hard for us to collectively get together, find each other, make agreement, and be consistent on our activity towards oneness and peace. Now I'm going to share with you why. And this should be enlightening for a lot of you. The why is because of the darkness and I don't mean karma I mean darkness what's another word for darkness separation okay well we live in a physical world and since we're living in a physical world who causes the separation those that live in the darkness those that live for self and selfishness those that live to serve darkness unfortunately in humanity there has been centuries worth of darkness controlling things now I'm gonna go down the rabbit hole a little bit deeper so stay with me on this you certainly don't have to agree how can I make such a blanket statement that the darkness is controlling things and how in the world do they possibly control such a large world if it's just some people and the vast majority of us have light side thinking and want oneness and peace how is that possible it's possible through one very simple method a method that they have uh, they have they have perfected to a very high level this method is separation they create separation by creating argument these same people run the biggest corporations which run the biggest media etc so in order for us to have oneness and peace we have to be conscious of the manipulation that is occurring with all the avenues that we place our vision that we we let our ears hear even the movies are paid for by the military industrial complex there's not a single thing out there in our world that does not have a form of manipulation even if it's a Colgate commercial even if it's an underarm commercial they are layered with manipulation so everything that enters our eyes everything that enters our ears and this three-dimensional world very very rarely is it oriented towards oneness and peacefulness thinking almost entirely is it oriented towards taking our mind away from that I'll repeat that it is almost entirely oriented towards taking our mind away from oneness thinking okay so those that um, are in control but honestly they don't care if we have guns or don't have guns they don't care if we have war or don't have war what they care about is keeping everybody in a state of division a state of argue because when we're in a state of separation they are constantly winning now some people might argue with that they might say well yes they really want war they really do some of you that are aware they do actually want war but when I say they don't care what do I mean those that are in control make money on a good stock market and a bad stock market why because they control it they can make money both ways they can make money with war or without war those that are selfish are separative 
on a very large scale. So you, as a spiritual being, so I'm, I'm off that horse now. You don't have to believe any of that if you don't want to. It's what I've observed in my 50 years on this planet. Become more aware. Those that are on the spiritual journey that want to make a difference in the oneness of this planet, that want to actually become aware and make a real difference, we have to do more than just chanting love, peace, and harmony. We have to stop separation-based thinking. We have to stop allowing ourselves to side with one or the other. We have to find a way where there is a way in which we honor their perspective, we honor our perspective, and we come together with a middle ground. What is the middle ground? The middle ground is peacefulness. If it's a gun issue, how can we create peacefulness for those that want it? How can we create peacefulness for those that don't want it? The ones that don't want it are emotionally charged because their their emotions are rambled up by those that want the separation. The ones that want it, their emotions are charged because they want to defend themselves, make sure they're not going to be manipulated by a manipulative government. So they all have reasonable reasons. There has to be a middle ground. Democrats and Republicans, well, I got news for you. There's dirtiness on both sides. So for one to point to the other is pretty foolish. But those at the top, they really don't care. They just care that there's divisiveness and separation. So I can, again, I can choose the meat industry versus the vegan industry. I can choose boys versus girls. I can choose homosexuality versus not homosexuality. I can choose Buddhism versus Christianity. I can choose 500 separative-based topics. Does any of them serve the most important thing of bringing peace? How jaded is your perspectives? How right are you about this and that? How many arguments do you get involved with at the water cooler? How defensive are you about this or that? Are you being part of the solution towards oneness? This is very, very important to comprehend. We must, 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 must step into our role as an awakened human being. We, as a human race, <laughs> are not alone. And there is a very important secret you must learn on a very high level. You've heard it at least a thousand times before, but I want you to really get it. You are a creator. You create your reality. We are a co-collective creator. I told you, you already heard it a million times before, but let's bring it into alignment with this wisdom. If you are a creator, which you are, and those that stand to control us know that same secret, then what do they have to do to maintain the creation they want? What do they want? They want to live forever, they want to control the population. They want to um, keep us always in a place of weakness. They want to be selfish and take care of themselves, keep all the money for themselves. They are doing a very, very good job because they understand the creator principle. They understand the rules. They know that as long as they play the game, in the public eye, all they have to do is keep us in a place of divisiveness, in a place of separation. As long as they say, look over here, and they do something over here, and then they switch sides because they're playing money on both sides. Okay, now look over here, and they do something over here. We are in a place of arguing for this and that. My righteousness, your righteousness. I'm right, you're wrong. I don't agree with this. I do agree with that. Separation, separation, separation. And they're sitting in their boardrooms, and there are mansions. They're sitting in their, you know, luxury aircraft carriers or whatever, wherever they're at. And they're sipping on their champagne going, what a bunch of idiots. Will they ever figure this stuff out? We've been controlling the planet for so long just by keeping them in a place of separation and a place of I'm right and you're wrong. And they keep winning. Light side, dark side. 
we literally give up our control of our creativity by choosing to be obstinate, by choosing to be right, by choosing to be positioned in a way where it's win-lose. There is no other choice. If you turn on your intelligence hat, if you turn on your ability to see with the right eye and the left eye, if you start paying attention to the news cycle, if you start paying attention to the things that you hear, the movies you watch, you can see the manipulation that creates fear, the manipulation that creates distrust, the manipulation that makes you go down the road over here. Okay, some of you might not like what I'm going to say next. Right now, in humanity, there is a massive, massive dark movement. It's been underway for a while. Separative movement, okay? So much money involved, they just take over entire countries, right? They just, and if somebody sees them, they just kill them. Very simple. The person that came into the presidency in the United States, he did all kinds of, of crazy things, you know, did all kinds of things against homosexuality. How stupid is that, right? Judgment, huh? instant thought, right? How wrong is that? I'm going to fight, instant thought. Um, he, he went against uh, uh, global warming. What an idiot, okay? Separation thinking. Um, he did all these things that created such divide, such divide. But, and I'm not, I'm not saying I like this guy. I, I actually don't have opinions on this in politics. I stay away from them because they're divisive. But I'm giving you wisdom. I want you to look at the divisiveness. What you do not see at this moment is all of the darkness that has been controlling the planet for a long, long time. This president passed uh, presidential orders that most people are completely oblivious to to round up all of those that are running the pedophile rings. Nobody else before him did that. In fact, they were accused of it, but nobody else before him did anything about it. Uh, he, is, he is rounding up all of those um, that are watching us through our computers and our cell phones. He is cleaning up the swamp, so to speak. And unfortunately, he can't do it publicly. But if you want to know how good a job he's doing at those kinds of things, cleaning up the darkness, just look at all the rhetoric from all those that have the money that are trying to say very unpleasant things. Again, I'm not saying I like the guy. I truly am not. What I'm trying to get you to see is there is dark side and there is light side, and we are constantly in a war. If we are to move towards oneness, we must awaken that things are happening all around us to create more and more strife, to create more and more war, to create more and more separation. And you and I and the other 97% of humanity that are light workers, that do not want war, we want togetherness and oneness, we need to wake up to that these things, we don't want war, we don't want separation. If you lined up 97% of humanity, you would hear Every single one of the 97% say, no, I don't want war. I don't want separation. I just want to be with my family in peace. 97%. That's a very real number. Why then are we not there? The other very small percentage knows the rules of this game. They know the rules of creation. They know that all they have to do to control the creator, you and me, is keep us away from love. Keep us away from oneness. Keep us from having oneness thinking. Keep us from seeing the game that they keep playing on us with the wool over our eyes. It is time for each and every one of us to wake up on a very conscious and real level. You have to catch yourself being upset about how that manipulation, of the, no, no, whatever it is, look at it from the eyes of a higher level being. I see this. I wonder how much of this is true. I wonder how much of it was staged or manipulated. I agree or don't agree with it, but I'm not going to allow myself to shift my purity, my love. I am going to chant love, peace, and harmony to serve this separative thing that I'm witnessing here. I'm going to chant to remove my judgments and criticisms around it. 
I'm going to be a conscious observer that chooses to be responsible for my energies and not be a manipulated creator. I'm going to choose my reaction, my response. I'm going to choose to see that I have been a person very likely being pushed one direction or the other purposefully so that my creator abilities are completely thwarted. The effort I make towards love and oneness will no longer be derailed. You can make a difference. You can make a huge difference just by consciously watching how much you're separating inside yourself. Inside yourself. You know what else can make a huge difference? Putting this wisdom into action. You know what else can make a huge difference? Telling your friends that are complaining at the top of their lungs about this or that. Sit them down and say, I love you. I'm not in disagreement with you. I can feel your passion. However, I would really like you to be aware that this is not creating oneness. There is a way in which there can be a win-win scenario where everybody wins and everybody's in agreement and everybody's shaking hands on the way to the top. Explain to them that those that control everything, those that are at the very, very top of the food chain, are manipulating. They want this separation, and you're assisting that. There is a way in which your voice can be heard and honored, and others' voice can be heard and honored, and a middle ground can be found. If you say it with love, they'll be like, really, how? And you figure it out. There is a way. We just never stop to actually try to apply it. Okay, We have not been taught win-win. We have not been taught thinking because we've been too busy being manipulated as a created being. You have more power than you think. It has been stated by the greatest masters of all time that it would only take an exceedingly small percentage of people to be collected in one thought that could literally change the tide in this world. By many great beings, this has been said, not by one or two. Same great beings have said, you can do what I have done and more. So this being a truth, what then is keeping us from collecting us? If the 97% of us don't want war, which we know is true, what has been keeping us from being coming that one? Creative manipulation. Okay, We are creators. Those at the top know this. They have been creating our world for us. It is time to stop allowing them to do that. You have to start with connecting to yourself, seeing your judgment, seeing your criticism, seeing your emotional, uh, when something doesn't agree with you, and asking love, peace, and harmony, soul song. Now we have the tools. We need to ask it. Can you please bless me to release these very separative thoughts? Can you bless me to have no judgment and criticism, but simply observe it? Can you bless me to see other perspectives so that I can bring love and peace and harmony, voice and message to this condition? It will take conscious practice, not an easy thing, but it's because we have to train ourselves to do it. We have been trained to basically be rats on a cage we have been trained that way go left go right go left to right you go here you get rewarded what's your food i am right well we already had that live stream about last week the karma of being right so there is no reward in creating separation we think there is but not really if we're going to have a government a one world not a one world religion or a one world order but a one world consciousness that agrees to disagree agreeably, which is really what it is, an agreement to disagree 
agreeably, then we must start with ourselves. And as we get better with ourselves, we start moving it outward. We continue to channel love, peace, and harmony. We continue to do our part to make a difference. But this is how we can make a huge difference in our own personal environment. Okay? So let us do a practice towards that end. Everybody sit up straight. Let's place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. We drop our left hand in front of our hearts. Right hand pointed towards heaven, and we will connect. If it is comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear my beloved divine creator, dear all of the beings of light that have been invited to this practice today, my name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. I thank you from my heart and soul for all of the beings of light you have brought to humanity to serve during this time of change. I ask most humbly and most sincerely for forgiveness, for I have just received some additional enlightening information and I recognize I may have been contributing to separation I may have been contributing to a lack of oneness in humanity I may have been holding on to judgments and criticisms and self-righteousness instead of looking for ways to create ways in which there is win-win where there is agreement to disagree agreeably and everybody is on the same page towards oneness. If in this or any lifetime, I or my ancestors have made these kinds of mistakes, I humbly and sincerely apologize to all souls of humanity, to all souls in all time. I ask you, beloved heaven, all the beings of light, and the song of love, peace, and harmony, to please bless me that in the moments that I am doing separative things, speaking separative thoughts, acting out with separative words and actions, judgments and criticisms, especially towards others, other things that I witness or hear or see or read, I ask most humbly for your blessing and conscious reminder in that moment so that I stop myself from creating new karma, so that I make a conscious choice to look for a win-win approach, so that I recognize that if all I can do in that moment is to chant love and peace and harmony to bring the highest and best resolve to the discord and separation that I'm witnessing, if all I can do is that, please remind me to do that so that I become part of the solution instead of part of the ongoing problem through my lack of creative awareness. Please bless me to understand that I am a creation being and that I am equally responsible for my own creations as well as the group creation. I thank you, heaven, Tao, and source, my beloved creator, for blessing me with this request. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, as I chant you, can you please bless this request? Dear all souls in humanity, in all universes, we love you all. We invite you to please come. And as we chant, please let us collectively return to our oneness thinking, release all those things that create separation, and most importantly, chant so that we as a humanity awaken to the manipulation that is causing us to stay asleep in our lack of awareness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let us chant together. Let us visualize all humanity being awoken, choosing to move towards win-win and choosing to disallow the manipulative actions occurring by those that understand these teachings at a very high level. Let us chant to serve. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, 
Lula, Lula, Lula, Lula. I was in her lane. I turned and lay. Wrongly hearing wrong, her musher song. Song I ping on her say. Song I ping on her say. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace. And harmony, love, peace, and harmony. Sing with your heart. We are clearing our separation blockages for us and humanity. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula. La li lu la, lu la ha li lu la, lu la ha li lu la. Wo ai wo xian er li, wo ai tran ran li, wang li ying rong er mu xian shang. Song I ping on a say, Song I ping on a say. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love. Peace and harmony. Love, peace and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xian er ling, wo ai tran ran lei. Wang li ying rong er mu shi sheng, xiong ai ping. On a shay, shang I ping on a shay. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace. And harmony, love, peace, and harmony. Two more times with all your heart. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xian er ling, wo ai tran ran lei, wang li ying rong er mu shi sheng. Song I ping 
阿那些，相爱并阿那些。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Send your greatest love to all humanity. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Love I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. There is so much blessing that has occurred with that. I, my entire center of my body is just purified and warm. And huge blessings. In conclusion, we are individually one from the whole. If the whole was a body of water, how could any of the drops be separate? Because we are, when we are in that body, is there any separation of the droplets? No. So just because we've expanded we and we are droplets does not mean we are one. With that expansion, we were given ability to manifest and create with free will. And in that free will, choices were made of darkness and light, separation from oneness, and actions, thoughts, and words towards oneness. Hence, yin and yang. And in this third dimensional world that has went through many, many times in which everything came and then Everything on the planet was destroyed, and we started again. And everything came, and everything on the planet was destroyed, and we started again. So we're in one of those points. Separation is the key. We are creators. What are we creating collectively? So far, we have been creatively collecting that which we do not want. We have been creating war and strife any lack of peacefulness that's not what we have been wanting 97% of us have been wanting the opposite of that but what have we been creating it's opposite of what we want why because we have been manipulated by the one or two or three percent that know the rules of the game keep those masses the sheep that we fit into the category of the sheep believe it or not keep the masses under control by keeping them in constant separation. You control the media, you control the food, you control the water, you control the pharmaceutical supplies, you control the masses. Just keep them confused. Don't ever teach them that they are in control of their own creation. By all means, do not tell them that truth. And we'll be happy forever. 
says those at the top. If we do not wake up, we will end up being one of those times in history that everything got washed away and started again. I personally don't want to see that happen again. Wake up, see the manipulation, choose not to be up in arms about it, choose a lack of separation, choose oneness in your thoughts, words, and actions. Teach others oneness in their thoughts, words, and actions. Teach them to see the manipulation. Teach them that we are collective and individual creators, droplets from our one original creator, that all have this same power and abilities. And that if we can all get on a similar conscious page, we can easily take back our earth and humanity and bring us towards this light and love that is the plan. We can either do it the hard way, which is washing everything, Mother Earth shaking, rattling and rolling, and all the fleas go flying off. Or we can do it collectively with consciousness. It's our choice. We need to realize that we have been under the control of a great deal of manipulation, keeping us in separation. So if you enjoyed this, make sure you share it. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're new. You can go watch the other live streams I have done. I'm very grateful for those that have stuck this out and maybe you pushed a few buttons along the way, but that's not a bad thing. It gives you opportunity to grow. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. All the beings of light, divine doll source, our heavens teams, we thank you for your presence. Please respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Thank you, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.